Welcome to Knowledge Around, your go-to channel for in-depth explorations of history, science, and the untold stories that shape our world. Here, we dive deep into fascinating topics to bring you well-researched and captivating content. If you enjoy our videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest releases. In the annals of aviation history, certain flights stand out, not for their routine journeys, but for the chilling tales they leave behind. This is the story of Air France Flight 447, a flight that shook the world. On the night of May 31, 2009, Air France Flight 447 departed from Rio de Janeiro Galeo International Airport at 1929 Brazilian Standard Time. The aircraft, an Airbus A330, was bound for Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport with an estimated flight time of 10 hours and 34 minutes. On board were 216 passengers and 12 crew members, all eager to reach their destination. They had no idea that their journey would become the subject of the largest and most expensive search for a missing plane at the time, second only to the Malaysian flight MH370 today. The flight proceeded as planned until it reached a critical point over the Atlantic Ocean. At 1.35 a.m. Universal Time coordinated, the last message from the plane was received by Brazilian air traffic controllers, signaling that Air France 447 was leaving the Brazilian airspace. After this transmission, the aircraft continued to fly over the dark expanse of the Atlantic Ocean. This region was beyond the reach of radar, leaving the plane in a void where no landmass lay below and no radar could detect its presence. Flight 447 was scheduled to re-establish contact with air traffic controllers in Dakar, Senegal, after a two-and-a-half-hour interval. But as time passed, there was no response. Silence enveloped the airwaves. The world awoke to the news of the missing flight, and search and rescue operations were launched across the vast Atlantic. Ships, aircraft, and satellites scoured the waters, but days turned into weeks with no sign of the aircraft. On June 6, several parts of the plane and 50 bodies were found floating in the sea, 600 kilometers off the coast of Brazil. The discovery confirmed the worst fears, but also sparked new questions. Several suspicious individuals were traveling on the plane, leading to initial speculation about a possible terrorist attack, especially given the geopolitical climate post 9-11. However, examination of the wreckage revealed that the plane had not exploded and appeared to be intact when it hit the water. The Airbus A330 was considered a high-tech marvel, and the mystery deepened, was this a fault of the aircraft, sabotage, or pilot error? Captain Mark Dubois, with over 10,988 flying hours, First Officer David Robert, with 6,547 hours, and First Officer Pierre Cedric Bonin, with 2,936 hours, were all experienced pilots. Yet, they faced a severe challenge on that fateful night. Flight 447 encountered severe thunderstorms over the equatorial Atlantic Ocean, flying through deep convective clouds with potential for strong updrafts, turbulence, and icing. At 2.10 a.m., the pitot tubes, which measure airspeed, became obstructed by ice crystals, causing the autopilot to disengage. The pilots were left with unreliable airspeed information. Despite stall warnings, they failed to recognize the situation and continued to pull up, causing the aircraft to lose lift and enter a high-altitude stall. Captain Dubois had left the cockpit to rest, leaving First Officers Bonin and Robert in charge. A lack of clear communication exacerbated the confusion. As the aircraft descended rapidly, the pilots made incorrect inputs, unable to comprehend the problem they faced. At 2.14 a.m., Air France Flight 447 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean. It wasn't until May 2011 that the flight recorders were recovered, revealing the harrowing final moments. The final report concluded that the accident was caused by the pilots' incorrect reactions to the airspeed sensor issues, leading to an aerodynamic stall from which they could not recover. The tragedy was a stark reminder of the importance of training for rare but severe emergencies. Today, 
we remember the 228th lives lost, each with their own story, their own dreams, and their own loved ones. Flight 447 is more than a tragic event, it's a testament to the relentless pursuit of safety and the human spirit's resilience in the face of unimaginable loss. As we soar above the clouds, we carry with us the lessons learned from Flight 447, ensuring that such a tragedy is never repeated. Thank you for watching. If you found this story compelling, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more captivating tales from aviation history.